Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. I think it's going to take a while for that to disappear. I don't know that that is going to actually disappear at all. I don't think that is something that's going to happen. Unreachable food. They cannot access the colony's food for some peculiar, strange and bizarre reason. I don't know why they can't access the food. And so therefore I've got starvation. Your problem in here is still atmospheric pressure. It's, it's hovering. The atmospheric pressure is hovering on those bristle blossoms at just the wrong point. Now that liquid reservoir in there is now empty so that can all be dismantled. So if I go into the plumbing section, we go into the liquid pipes in here. Wait. Liquid pipes. There, that's what I want to do. Uh, no, there isn't anything I need to do on that other than just have that one and deconstruct. I don't need that liquid reservoir to be doing anything at all other than just being dismantled. So that can be dismantled. Right, now, let's have a look at these. I got cramped and cramped. They're both fine. You're cramped. There's a young sage hatchling there. You're cramped. It doesn't actually say that they're elderly, so we won't slaughter any of them just yet. Uh, they go to sage hatchlings. And then, what do they do after that? Like, uh, how, how does things progress after that? I'm not entirely sure. Um... I guess that's a question of wait and see. Pressure. That's the next thing that I wanted to look at was pressure. So we, we could actually go in here and we could see about potentially improving pressure. I got radiant gas. Carries gas allowing extreme temperature exchange. Improve ventilation. High pressure. Releases gas from gas pipes into high pressure locations. That, I think, might be the one. Canister filler automatically stores piped gases into canisters for manual transport. Is this something... Like, what do I do with excess chlorine? I've got all of this chlorine at the moment. I'm not really sure what to do with that. I mean, you use some of it up in an ore scrubber. So I could use the ore scrubber to do something with, but I, I, I really seem to be... Much that I can do with it. Synthesizes oxalite using oxygen and gold. Uh, uses up that. Molecular. No. Water sieve. We've already got that up and running. High pressure vent. Gas shut off. I mean, I suppose I could start turning uh, chlorine in, like putting it into gas tanks. Storing chlorine in gas tanks, maybe. Disease clinic allows duplicates to administer powerful treatments to sick duplicates. Hot tub. Requires pipes. Uh, notifications. We got uh, automated. I've already done automations on there. Uh, smelting. Conveyor overlay. Access to the conveyor overlay. Automated dispenser. Store solid materials. Dump stored materials when receiving a signal. Auto sweeper. Smart storage bin. Uh, steam, but sunlight, steam turbine, I haven't got steam at the moment, mini liquid pumps, oil well, I haven't found, uh, extracts crude oil f using clean water, must be built atop an oil reservoir, and I kind of uh, done the fish trap, critter sensor, there's gas range, cooks a wide variety of quality foods, Juicer provides refreshment for duplicates. I don't see anything here that I can really start using up chlorine in, apart from possibly this one. Automatically stores piped gases into canisters for manual transport. Possibly that one. Canister filler. Now, is there, an, is, is there a canister emptier? Is there one that dumps them back, carries gas? Uh, most sensor, gas reservoir, stores any gas resource piped into it. Again, cools the gas pipe through it, but outputs heat in its immediate vicinity. 
synthesizes oxalite. Uh, we'll go with the improved ventilation. We'll have we'll have them work on improved ventilation for a little while. Okay, they are able to go really fast down through that. That is that is quite a useful tool. It would seem. I could add in some more of them, I suppose. Like, add in another one of those that runs down into here. Because they do spend a lot of time coming down in here to do various errands and that. But I think it's I think it's alright at the moment. Now, coming up through this side. That pipe in there, I've got no germs in there. This one, I've got like 600, 400 germs is hardly anything. That one's 17,000 and it's reducing fairly rapidly. So now water is filling up in the reservoir over here. The problem being that the reservoir over here is where we've got the germs. And that's what they're using in the rest of the system. So I still kind of need to change this around so that the water goes out of this pipe and into there. Or maybe the clean water doesn't go. I don't want the clean water going straight into the liquid vent in there, do I? I want the clean water coming into here. But then what do I do? I've still got to have a water tank. Hmm. I think I need to have a water tank. A, a new water tank system built. But I'm not quite sure how I'm going to go about doing that. That's, that's something that's going to require a bit of thought. Anyway, at the moment, what we're doing is our duplicates are busy going around and they're unlocking a whole load more stuff. I've got salt up here. Carbon dioxide. I've got lots and lots of liquid pools here everywhere. I've got liquid in here that is slowly filtering into there. I've got liquid down here. I need to be able to pump that and turn... Like, I do need to be able to get that pumped up and into there. It's basically what we want. We want any polluted water I need to be able to put into this polluted water area. And then that gets taken out and that gets saved and that gets pumped in through this system. Which does kind of work. Thing, things are starting to improve, I think. I think we, you know, we're still facing a food shortage... And it is partly to do with this pressure issue that I've got over here. But I'm hoping that that is going to start to be able to be changed. They just want to check the consumable ores. i got six tons of coal at the moment. I've got more coal up here that we're going to dig out. And then going on upwards, I've got salt. Sedimentary rock, granite, abyssalite. There's more coal up here. The temperature overlay, I've got a lot of cold in there. This is particularly warm in the abyss light, but then I've got more ice sections over that way. Uh, this is hot down below. I've got some copper and stuff down here. Cool here where the slime is, I've got another area down there with something in it. And I've got this area that I haven't explored and that area that I haven't explored. I think it's time to be venturing further afield. Right, we've got massive temperature issues over this side. But I don't think that's causing us any major problems. It does get really hot up here. But again, so long as like the heat is going up there, I don't think that's a problem. <gasps> Chlorine? I don't want chlor... I the moment I don't think I can do anything with chlorine, I'm really struggling to know what to do with all this chlorine that I've got. I have, I'm have i working on some research right now. We'll allow them to keep working on the research. I think going over this whole thing... Like, we've, we've I've got more water coming down here, so maybe I need to do something with all of the water that we've got. But I think that the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here with a dig. I'm going to dig that one out there. That's my first thing that I'm going to do. I can't dig that, but I can dig that bit. So if I, if I can get them to come over there and dig that one little bit, someone come over and dig that bit out, please. That would be absolutely fantastic. 
Someone could come down and do that. Polluted dot. Ooh. Right, now, a morb. These things excrete polluted oxygen. I don't think he does anything else that's particularly useful other than excrete polluted oxygen. I'm going to leave him to continue excreting polluted oxygen. I'm not going to do anything to him. I am going to bring a priority upgrade down here on there. So that I can persuade a duplicant to come down. There he is, on his way. Research complete, nice, right. Security door, current state lock, submit bioscan. Sophisticated genetic lock. Submit bioscan. Someone's coming down for bioscan, what you, are you? Nice. Right. Uh, we just do that a minute. Um, colony achievement earned. There. Art underground. Have a duplicate with a masterwork skill. Paint a... No, it wasn't that one. Goes to Gravitas. Recover a database entry by inspecting facility ruins. Royal flush. Replace all... No. It was that one. I did that one already. Uh, they got better. Cure a duplicate of uh, disease. Right, I'm not quite sure what happened there. But anyway, I have now been able to open this up in here. I've got a neural vacillator. What does a neural vacillator do? Massive synthetic brain suspended in saline solution. There is a chair attached to the device with room for one person. I don't know what a neural vacillator... Recover files. I see if I can salvage anything from the electronics. I add what I find to my database. View entry. That. Geneticist, we've engineered crops to be rotated as needed, depending on environmental situation. While a variety of plants would be ideal to supplement any remaining nutritional needs, any one of our designs would be enough to sustain the colony indefinitely without adverse effects on physical health. Geneticists, some environmental survival issues still remain. Different temperatures, light availability, and last pass changes to nutrient levels to take pro top priority, particularly for food and oxygen producing plants. Log ends. Selected in response to concerns about colony psychological well being, while design should focus on attributing, attributing mood enhancing effects to natural briar pheromone emissions, the product has been moved to the lowest priority level beneath more life sustaining designs. And discovered more research or exploration is recovered or uh, required. Ah. Huh. Computer desk. Inspect. I searched the computer. We would like to remind staff not to use the CC all function for intra office issues. In event of disputes or disruptive work behavior within the facility, please speak, please speak to HR directly. Thank you for your restraint. Admin, the Gravitas facility. Re my pens. <laughs> Brilliant. I like that. I don't really know what else I can do with that room. There doesn't seem to be a great deal that I can do in it. This one in here, submit bioscan. Let's go and have a look at that. There's, there's uh, got to be something in this room that we can bioscan and take a look at. Someone come along and do something in here. Let's go fast. New log entries. Had a look at those already. Eureka, my duplicates have discovered ventilation technology. I'll go and deal with that in a minute. Right. You've gone into here. Inspect. View another entry. Results from Atomicon. Everything went well. Broussard was reluctant at first, but she has little alternative given the nature of her work and a recent turn of events. She, begin, she can begin at your convenience. Uh, I don't know what that's about. Right, locker one. Inspect. Gravitas has been growing pretty rapidly since our first product hit the market. I just got a look at some of the new hires. They're practically babies. Not quite what I was expecting, but then I've never had the opportunity to mend it to someone before. It could be fun. Inspect that one. Started work at a new company called Gravitas Facility today. I was nervous I wouldn't get the job at first because I was fresh out of school and I was all... And I was... 
so, so, so pushy in the interview, but the director apparently liked my thesis on physiological thermal regulation of Arctic lizards. I'll be working with some brilliant geneticist bioengineering organisms for space travel in harsh environments. It's like a dream come true. I get to work on exciting new research in a place where no one knows me. Okay, that's a dream come true, is it? Rummage. Rummage. Very important that we have the rummaging. Someone come here and rummage, please. New printables are available. We got the new log entries here. Right. I need you to come and rummage. There. Right. We have got warm sweater. Cool vest. I can assign these to people. Protects the wearer from heat. Protects the wearer from cold. I haven't really got anywhere to go and put those at the moment, so we'll leave them for a minute. This room is warming up. This room is definitely starting to warm up, so we're filling everything up with water down the bottom. All the ice is melting. Not really sure what to do about that. Um, long commute, high stress. It's not telling me i got a food shortage anymore, which is... Oh, okay. I, sp I spoke too soon. I still got a food shortage. Pressure in here. So now what I want to do is I want to increase the pressure in this room. So I've got a mechanized airlock. That there blocks liquid and gas flow, maintaining pressure between areas. Right. Gas vent there. Deconstruct. Start off with that one. I love how fast they go. They go whizzing past here. That's fantastic. Food shortage. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not going to last forever, is it? What's wrong with you? Oh, you're stressed. This is a problem. I've got various people who are stressed, and I don't like the stress. Uh, plus, I've got water issues down here again. Let's clean that bit up. If that one could be dealt with, then I could go in here, in there. I've got insulated gas pipes. i got a high-pressure vent releases gas into high pressure environment and then gas shot off here connects to an automation grid to allow on off automation canister filler automatically stores piped gases into canisters for manual transport i think what i need to do is to start storage capacity 10 kilos right that's right. That's, that's removing that right there. Then I, what I want to do is I just want to have a look here. Contents empty. A gas pipe empty. I, uh, where's, where's the gas pipe? I want something in the gas pipe somewhere. Empty. 50 grams of oxygen. So if I could have it extracting chlorine, maybe that would be a better thing. Anyway, ventilation and I want a high pressure vent. Wait, what? Copper, iron. I've got five and a half tons of that. Gas intake. Requires plastic 50 kilos. I can't make that one. After all that, I can't make it because I haven't got any plastic. Fantastic. Now, I have heard that plastic, it can be found if you head south. Downwards. Down into the abyss. We've got another salt and sedimentary thing going on over there. I've uncovered a few bits over here. I'm kind of thinking that what we want to do is... I want to do a double layer of a ladder. Now, I've got this liquid thing all the way out over here. We've got more stuff that I could sort of head to over that side. I don't think that's going to be beneficial to us in you know th there's no real benefit to that what i think that we want to do is we want to have two ladders and we want to run them down like that and then i want to do two ladders down there like that and then i also want to have a fire pole and put that one from there and I want to run and run that, uh, run and run, 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 that fire pole all the way down there like that. And they will start working their way down through there. Our beloved duplicants will start working their way down through here. 
The other thing that I need to do, like that, um, that, that vent thing. Oh, wait. Let's go and have a look in here. Choose a blueprint. We've got oxalites. Yeah, let's just take that. That can just be dropped out down there. They're not going to do anything with it. Uh, this one here, the metal ore in there, I've got only five tons of copper ore left. I got 50 tons of that. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to turn that one off there. And I'm going to switch over to a bit of iron production on that one so that I can make a bit. Uh, it's probably, it's, it's not the most efficient way of doing it, but I've been working through all of the copper ore that I've got there. And I haven't actually got a lot left. So, be a good idea if I was to start getting a little bit more. Now, these guys can dig their way down through all of this. There's a bit of fertilizer right there. They can dig their way all the way down through, I'm hoping. And we can start to find more useful items and things further down. We're on cycle 162. This one is... Another 36 cycles before it becomes active again. So I've got no natural gas coming in. Which means I really I don't need that pump running, do I? So disable that building. That's going to save me a bit of power. If I stop that one from running completely. This is not doing any good. It's, it's not helping us in any way. And then it's the chlorine in here. I kind of need to get rid of this chlorine. If I, if I have a, a few filters set up so that I can... Send some of it out somewhere. I, I, don't, I don't really know. Not sure what the best way to do that is. Clean, pure water right there. Clean, pure water right there with like 10 germs in it. And that's got 20,000 germs in it. And that very rapidly gets cleaned and, and filtered through. So my cleaning system is now working beautifully. This over here is still full of food poisoning. So... We really, we want to have a pitcher pump situation set up, but in another reservoir. I can't take stuff out. Reservoirs cannot receive manually delivered resources. Can I use that to take things out of? Can I, is there any way other than that pitcher pump to be able to get things of liquid? Is there any other way of doing it? That's, that is, I think, what we actually need. We need another way of getting water out. If I get water from there, that would be brilliant. Because I could do away with this reservoir completely for a little while. Actually, I think that's what we need to do. We need, we need to scrap this reservoir. Completely scrap that one. Uh, but I, I've, I've got to have another water intake. And that's, that's where my problem lies, is I don't currently have any water intake until I can figure out how to do that I got no way of getting the water into a pitcher pump I mean the rest of it is clean I've, I've now got clean water running through all of these that lavatory in there contents empty liquid pipe that's contents empty uh, you in here Spreads very few germs. 105,000 germs per use. But then we wash our hands. Your pressure issues. Yeah, see, there's still nothing that I can do about any of this. Liquid, uh, consumable ore, coal. I got three and a half tons of coal still. We're fine with that. And these down here, they'll just keep building. I got Dreckler eggs down here. And this this is my problem right here. So maybe if I was to stop that one and then change that over so that goes straight into this liquid pipe over here. And I don't have a clean water storage at the moment. Maybe that's the way forward. First, let's go into here and deconstruct that tile. These guys are busy working down through here. They're going to build that ladder down through. Uh, they're doing a, a wonderful job of delivering everything down through there. And we're, we're going to keep digging downwards here. That's the idea is we want to dig down and down and down and down. We've got loads of salt. i got salt water in there. i got another one of these. There's some fruit there. Table. i got loads of 
liquid pools of water that we can get and pipe back up. Okay, now that I've gotten you, take that liquid pump there. I need this water to be cleaned. This in here has got to be absolutely thoroughly cleaned. So the only way that this can work is... I, I think I actually need to set up an automation system. I've got these germs in here. And I know about those germs in there. And that pipe, that comes out of there. And then out of this liquid pipe in here. Liquid bridge... There, liquid pipe contents empty. Yeah, nothing going into there. Plumbing. Liquid pipe. Right, right there. It would help if I went just to the plumbing overlay, I think. Like that. Plumbing overlay. Liquid pipe contents. There. 605.2 grams of water at 28 degrees. It's not telling me anything else about that particular bit of water. It's not telling me whether it's got germs in it. When it comes out of here, it does have germs in it. This one doesn't clean germs out of the water. So I, I don't have a germ overlay. There is... Well, I don't... I, I, there is a germ overlay. I can have that one right there. So I've got germs in here. Liquid pipe. Zero surface germs. Contents... Uh, 1,400 germs in there. I got lots of germs in there. There's a few germs coming over this way. And that's where most of them are over in the rest of the base. So, for the most part, things are pretty clean and pretty good. I mean, we got no issues with that. It's, it's this water situation. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can do this water situation so that the cleaners here... They won't go out of that liquid vent. That will just go straight into the normal pipes over this way. Um, that one then we don't need. We just have this one over this side. But where do I get my supply of water? That's my biggest problem is how do I get my supply of fresh water? Because I don't think I can take stuff from this one. Like if, I, if I look in here... Contents, water, th there's no... Well, there is. There's logic activation threshold there. Germs. View full entry. Uh, requirements, liquid intake and liquid output. A reservoir. Cannot receive manually delivered resources. I think the only way that I can have it is I've got to have an open tank that this dips into and then we have a pitcher pump. So with an open tank and a pitcher pump, I've still I've so I've I've got to be able to have that somewhere, but I want to have it without any food poisoning because I got food poisoning everywhere at the moment, and that's a little bit of an issue. So I kind of need I need the cold water that's coming out of all of this. If I look at that, that one right there, that's nice and clean down there. I've got clean water that. F uh, flow through this. So all of these pipes, they're pushing through clean water apart from that. So the only dirty clean water that I've got, the, the only polluted, not polluted water, the only actual drinking water that I've got with germs in it is this bit down here. So maybe I need to then have a vent coming in here with chlorine. And we do it like that. Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.